I'm going to run through the economies of scale graph and how it can aid you in your exam. Preferably aimed at A-level students studying economics, either at the AQLA level, OCR, or whatever board you're doing, it's probably going to match it. The graph presented to you is often referred to as economies of scale and shows the trend between output on the x-axis and average cost per unit. The higher the output along the x-axis causes a lower output cost. This notion derives from the Adam Smith's division of labour theory. As company grows larger and produces more goods, the cost per good is reduced due to specialisation. Specialisation refers to the notion of everyone in a company specialising in one factor of the overall manufacturing process. For example, if your average cost is high, you're going to have less output. This is because you're going to be less efficient. If you have one person creating one good in a shop, they're going to have to walk backwards and forwards creating different things. But if each person specialises, you're going to have a huge output and then therefore have a low average cost. This line across the economies of scale diagram is often referred to as the LAC. This is often known or short for as the long run average cost. So, when this diagram it sometimes goes up and that's refers to as the diseconomies of scale because this just shows economies of scale but when this goes up it shows diseconomies of scale because as output increases even further average cost will start to rise this is because of various features within the company that start to go wrong as a company gets bigger such as lack of management Managers won't care for the company as much if, if they're not involved in it and they're not as in it with such a personal relationship. You're also going to have poor motivation of the workers. The workers won't see any effect on their working in such a big company. For example, if you're a worker at Apple, you're probably not going to see any result in the end product. However, if you worked for a small company, you're going to see your work drive sales forward, therefore you're going to be more motivated in a smaller company. Lastly, you're going to have lack of communication. As a company grows, managers aren't going to get into touch easily. However, on a small company, you're going to be much easier to discuss. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Like the video and please get in touch.